Okay, good morning, and uh, today, a little chilly out, so I'm uh, going to take a little break from the work today until it warms up. Uh, but last week I showed you a video of our plans for the yard and a little update on where we are at with that. So I uh, kind of go around them and uh, show you a few quick updates. I don't think I'm going to have an 18 minute video on it, but we'll see. Uh, so anyway, here it goes. Well, yesterday uh, we got a lot done actually um, uh, for what we're doing. So let me flip the camera around and kind of give you a tour. Uh, right here is uh, where our deck area is. And uh, kind of give you a tour. Um, we got the soil and manure mixtures and everything set up and everything. These tables, when full, are going to be where the tower planters are. And we will be uh, looking at probably putting up to 100 plants actually on those. Uh, mostly like lettuce and cut and go greens as we need. Um, the Bonyful Harvest planters, um, we got two rows of five of them all set to go. And get up a little closer here than that, you know, they each got a water tube to hold two and a half gallons reserve water underneath the rain water. When they do, um, uh, these will house, like tomatoes or okra for example, five plants per container. And, uh, so you're looking at right there, 50 plants along with them. And then we got some smaller containers down here. And so far, since the weather's warming up, uh, we already got our bean plants sprouted uh, right here going on. And we have 16 of them that are going to go on here, going up the trellis for pole beans for starters up here. Um, I paid 15 bucks at Menards for this little trellis here. And the beauty of that is uh, we just got it uh, spread across a couple nails to hold it in place. And there's a cable tie there. And a cable tie there so when it's done for the growing season we will just be able to uh, clip the cable ties and uh, compress it back up to an area about four by four feet by nine inches okay and uh, I'll have to give you an inside tour a little bit later in that obviously but uh we did get our new greenhouse up and uh, kind of do a walk around. It's got doors on both ends, which will really help there. And uh, it's a four ventilation windows on each side. So it is uh, 10 by 20 feet by 7 feet high. And we paid, uh, oh boy, I want to say 170 online for it. And... Uh, what I do like about it is it's got kind of like the snaps like this to hold the windows and that's no more tying those ridiculous things to keep the window up. A uh, quick snap on both of them and it's done. Um, it took about three hours to assemble with both Gene and I. So moving right along that was the main project yesterday and I told you that I wanted to put a new fence up around the whole garden area so we did start that um taking a little bit longer especially with the cold weather so what we're doing is we're kind of uh going around and cleaning up uh get a little bit closer one two uh right here is our fire pit that we uh redid last year uh we christened it the other night for uh with marshmallows and s'mores and we got uh that's about nine feet across got rid of some more uh crap laying around so this is the thing the stuff i'm using for fencing it's a four foot roll around it mostly critter control so this whole yard back here is eventually all going to become garden and uh, be encapsulated. So what I do with the fence, and yeah, it needs a little more structural work, 
only got so many hours a day so we got half of it up which is about 150 feet and what we did is right here was a small garden we had and uh we expanded the walkway all around it which was this was the most difficult part trying to come around and uh you can get right here so we can have access all around it right there um family all did a lot of excellent cleanup on the brush over here there's more work obviously but going around here this was uh, where the asparagus was growing last year, hasn't come up yet. Um, you know, one rogue rhubarb plant over here really seems to be doing good. So, moving right along, we uh, see we got some uh, hardware cloth and stuff we're gonna repurpose for other ones, maybe a small bed. And uh, that's about where it is. And moving along the property line uh, and back. And like I said, this is about roughly halfway completed for right here. It's not gonna obviously need a few more stakes to support, but it's holding pretty good so far. I used uh, these little poles right here. There's like a hook on each side or on one side, and metal stakes go in the ground to hold them up. And right here's where our uh, other garden area at the corner is going to be eventually get a little bit more um oh right here you know, one rhubarb plant coming up there that we planted last year and another one starting right there so life's good moving along then the fence is going to go behind the kids tires area here and we're undecided, we're probably going to start up the herb garden a little bit more in back. It's right here. And uh, go right around here, probably behind right here, the peach trees, which we have not taken out yet. Come back here. And then eventually back to where we started from and uh, right here I have no idea what we're gonna do for a door yet so that remains to be seen so pretty much we got some uh, a lot of work done this weekend so far a couple days off from work to play hooky um, it's nice to see a little bit more green in the lawn and uh, a few other things uh, that we got here the chives we transplanted last year are starting to come up pretty good. So, yeah, life is good. Um, and moving along, that's about all the main things we did uh, right now in back. As I said, this whole work is a yard in progress and this don't happen overnight. Um, Coming up down here and that, you can see where we had uh, get some extra work done landscaping and all that last year and see a little bit of grass starting to grow, which is good. Most likely along this line, both for decorative and safety purposes, we'll probably end up putting a fence or finding some way to deal with that. Um, I'm probably thinking, for the most part, maybe mix some clover seed in this area. Um, A, to protect it from erosion, and B, bonus for the chickens. <sighs> Moving down here, uh, it's a little chilly out in that, but we got some wood and other stuff for over there. And the other strawberry plants outside, not so good, but... The ones we put in the garage are weathering fine and wow, they are really coming back with a vengeance as you can see. So, it's a good starter one. We get our area, we're most likely going to end up buying some new ones anyway, so, to add to them. But yeah, they all seem to come back pretty good, so, we still got half of them, so that's a good sign too. 
Um, in the front, my lovely wife Jean um, uh, really went to town. She put a, some new uh, border around and back. And that, which uh, the root assassin was awesome in there, and she cleaned this out. And, and you can see right here, it's a lot better than it was. Uh, this is where she plans to plant her um, uh, canas this year. She probably got about 300 bulbs from years past. And God bless America, we got the flag up this week. So, and uh, these beds uh, got out down and uh, her and the crids really went to town and here cleaning these up. And oh boy, does she have all the life started here. So yeah, front part is looking good. So that's what we've uh, been doing during this uh, shutdown. Didn't go too many places anywhere, which is okay. Um, sitting home, trying to spend some family time, teaching the kids as best we can with uh, homeschooling and uh, as many life skills as possible and things that aren't taught at school but should. So, hope you enjoyed this video and. Uh, We'll keep you posted on any updates. Hey, God bless and everybody have a good day.